once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We're on my primary account, doing a little bit of Zoom Zoom. Um, I have covered speed dropping, I have covered rallies, I have covered the order of operations as far as troop dropping and dropping locations. Um, it's kind of a series that I'm doing, How to War. Uh, and it's all kind of semi-related, but that's what we're going to stick with. So this is one of the injections into that series. Zoom, zoom. Uh, we're going to go through a loop run here in a brief moment. But the concept here that I want to cover is as far as zooming. You want to zoom as close in as you possibly can in order to actually get your speed drop working appropriately. The closer that you are on the target, the more effectively that will work. And further to that, and more importantly even to that, because even if you're not doing a speed drop, even if you're just doing a one finger drop or a thumb drop, which is what works for best for Mac Marla, uh, after which you want to zoom as far out as possible. Uh, the reason that you want to zoom out as far as possible is because you want to get an overall picture of what's going on, what is likely to be attacking your troops, and if you're to the point that you've got some planes, you're going to want to be out as far as possible as well in order to determine where your planes are going to be entering and exiting from. So without further ado, let's try and show a decent example of that. Do I have all of my troops? I believe I have all of my troops. Uh, this is a little Global 155. So I'm going to zoom out to take a quick peek here. Obviously, we want to come in order to get that quick victory and try and nail some of these things with getting in there. We're going to come in right up here by the oil. So, you zoom in as far as you can. I do want to keep that mortar in the line of sight. I'm going to put my fingers down and then we're going to flip over, start with the tanks, howitzers. And then, followed with the rest of my troops. Of course, as well, you can use your planes as a nice little suppressive fire, as long as they don't get eaten by sand batteries too often. Let those tanks get ahead in order to take the uh, take the heat. And you'll see that I'm zoomed in, zoomed out quite far. You don't have to be zoomed in a whole lot but you want to understand and keep an eye on, obviously, the time remaining up in the top corner there, left-hand corner. And you want to keep an eye on when you can actually rally next. <laughs> and you want to keep an eye on which way your troops are likely to be going. Obviously, your foot soldiers and whatnot are more likely to be following where the troops are coming from. Whereas your howitzers, or artillery, or cannons, are more likely to just follow whatever building is next. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do a speed rally on this level 8 general here. I would like to not fight those. That seemed to have worked out quite well. I'm happy with that. Now, keeping an eye again. I do anticipate there's going to be some traps and such. I don't have anything for my cleanup crew this time around. But there is a little tiny level 1 or level 2 or 3. Oh no, see that was, that was poor form. losing howitzers as a result of that bad rally. That was an attempt at doing a speed rally, uh, but the timing was a little bit off as it sometimes is. Hopefully we can burn through this. You'll note that I don't have any tactics. I don't actually raid with any tactics. Or I try not to, I should say. I've lost both of my ELOS tanks, which is alright. The primary purpose 
for me taking chances just for the, just for the fodder. Now, that should be the last building right there, I believe. And we can actually, I believe, do a speed rally there and chew through the rest of these buildings here. Now, the other tip, and last but not least, if there are buildings in this bottom corner, you need to zoom in and scroll down. So for instance, if this guy put a building right there, you would have to zoom in in order to actually target that building. Uh, the number of times that people have missed the... Oh, would you look at that? I ran out of time, 99%. Only because I was showing you that, but that's all right. I'm still coming home with the majority of my troops. Saying the number of times that I've seen people get in the 99% uh, and miss that one building and had a difficult time even targeting that building uh, is I can't even count how many. Uh, so make sure that you zoom in, make sure that you zoom out, scout things out, especially in war. Take a look around, make sure that you make note of everything that is clear so that you're not missing buildings. Again, zoom in for your speed drop and zoom out after which to keep an eye on the progress and what's going to be coming out there. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget, keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.